Okay. 100%. Let's park notifications and go on to our final, hopefully much easier topic. Um, let's talk about um, <laughs> the, the the experience you have of working with big companies because um, both Slack and Calm are, are a good size. Slack's obviously a very big company now. Uh, and getting into there with a portfolio, the interview process, how they handle organization, how they handle code review. You must have learned so much over these years. Yeah, I really, really have. And I would say, you know, working at by yourself as an indie developer, even if you you have like someone else you work with on an app, it's a very different experience doing indie and then working full time, you know, on a production app that has millions of users and things. Um, I think as indie developers, it'd be great if our app has millions of users, but most of the time we usually don't. So <laughs> it, it's a very kind of different scale, um, especially when you're working with a team, developing an app with you know, 10 people with 20 people with 30 people, etc., is very different than working on it solo or just with another person. So can you speak to sort of the interviewing process you went through for either Slack or Calm? What it was like, how you prepared for it, how well you did? Yeah, I, that's a great question. So I think that as mobile developers, the nice thing is because we have this niche, a lot of times, at least in my experience, companies will actually ask me about mobile development um, rather than just you know whiteboarding and algorithms. Um, and maybe it's just the companies that I've happened to interview. But with, with Slack, for example, uh, when I was there and then when, when I joined later, I helped work on the, the interview process as well, is we really focus on app development. So iOS, you know, architecture, UI design, and how do you build apps? You know, how do apps interact with a server and how do you interact with APIs? And these things that, you know, everyday app developers, we are asking these questions and solving these problems already. So it's a lot of it shouldn't come as a surprise. So luckily at Slack, the, the interview process wasn't whiteboarding and how do you solve this red black tree or anything like that? Um, and I, I honestly personally believe that those type of those type of interviews are really not useful. Um, I, I I really don't like when um, companies really hone in on those algorithmic algorithmic whiteboard interviews because really the signal that that gives you is this person read cracking the coding interview five times or this person really studied hard, um, you know, reading those algorithm um, textbooks and. Is that really a signal that will tell you that someone's going to be a great mobile developer and they're going to be a great addition to your team? They're going to be a great teammate, a great communicator. It's like, what signal are you really getting from that? And I think when you're designing an interview process or even when you're an interviewee, I think the thing to think and realize is you're also interviewing the company. Mm. Um, and so if they're, if they're only doing whiteboard interviews and they're not really asking you questions about mobile development or really trying to get the the understand what your skill level is is that really a company you want to work for is you know and and i think that a lot of people don't ask those questions for themselves or and, and realize that they're interviewing the company as well so if you're having a terrible interview process that says a lot about that company and you probably don't want to work there um so my my interview process with flack was was great um they definitely focus a lot on the mobile development side and making sure that I had the skills for the actual role that I was going to be doing. And similarly at Calm. And so at Calm, the, the interview process was focused on mobile development, also focused on you know, team communication, focused on working with product managers and designers. So I was interviewed by product managers and designers, talked about how I, I like to collaborate with product managers and designers, um, right? Because when you're working full time for you know a small company, large company, or what have you, uh, a lot of your job is collaborating and working with other people. So it's not just working with other developers. You're going to be working with product managers, designers, engineering managers. And so a lot of the interview process there was was talking about how you communicate and collaborate with those people as well. Yeah. I think you've really hit the nail right on the head there. When you are going through one of those grim technical whiteboard interviews, if that's how they hire, the instant message is, Everyone else who works at this company passed that test. That's the kind of thing they think is appropriate yep. for hiring people. Do you want to work with that kind of company? So it's it's absolutely yep. a, a two way interview. If you get a, a careful, hands on, practical, thoughtful interview that goes beyond just 
binary trees or whatever it is that they're honing in on, that is a much more important sign for me. This is a good company to work for. Yep, I agree. 